Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in today's video, we'll be talking about the routing in Laravel, which is a part two. So if you haven't watched my previous part, you can go ahead and watch it so that it will be easier for you to understand in this section as well. So in today's video, we'll be talk, uh, talking about named routes and route groups. Uh, okay. So first of all, uh, let's talk about the named routes. So if you go in the document, look in this documentation and look at here. So we can define a route and give it a name okay so let's try that okay uh, in previous uh, tutorial we made these routes also there were some other routes i deleted those so if we go here and we can give it a name let's say name is and also let uh, let give this name and about us so now let's go to the home controller inside the home controller and the welcome view so if you don't remember from my previous video you can also go out there where uh, this home controller uh, sorry okay when we visit this home uh, url it will go to the home controller and inside that it will go to the index so if you go to the home controller which is inside app http and controller and it will take the use uh, take us to the welcome view if you click on here it will take us to the welcome view which is under the resources views welcome so how can we use that named route okay so now for, uh, currently we have two pages uh, welcome and about us but if we go and look into our website uh, we don't have anything to click on and go okay so let's make that first okay this is the home page so there will not be any styling so please forgive me <laughs> forgive me for that okay mm, okay let us create uh, a tag so so i have created this mm, and also let me copy this we'll be refactoring this uh, in our other videos now in and this is a about about us base now let me refresh it now we can see here about and about us but we didn't see, we didn't see the home page text uh, if we go to the home uh, if we go to the home uh, page then we can see these two links and the home page uh, text and if we click on the about us it will take us to the about us page so what is the use of the named route here okay so let's see. so currently we are using the hard coding the url values but we can use uh, uh, the name route here we can there is a helper method in Laravel called route so here we can use about us so now this will uh, this will render the http url full url for our website so if you go here and if you go here home then it will print the home url similarly let's do it for here and also now let's refresh now as you can see if we cl click on the home page it will take us to the home place and about us now let's right click and see what it is rendering so you can see here it is uh, rendering the blog.test as you can see here in the url part and uh, test so for the about us it is doing the same and but adding the about us url and if if you see our web then we have this about us url which is named by this so suppose let's say in the future uh, clients a client comes and says that us we don't want about us in the uh, url we only want uh, uh, mm, about so let's say they says we have to only change it here we don't have to change it, change it in the view it can remain same so if we only change here then also it will work so if we click on the home it will take us to the home about us then it will take us to the only the about route so that's the benefit of using name route so uh, after that so also you should uh, make sure that all the route names are unique so after that let's talk about the route groups so for this middle we'll be talking about the middleware in the next chapter because it is also it, it is itself a huge uh, chapter now let's go to first route prefixes so 
suppose let's say you have so many routes like uh, admin routes like all of those urls that will start with the admin prefix route uh, let's say you have this route slash admin slash home you have this page let's see, let's say we have uh, one controller for now um, let's for for example let's take this example uh, same controller and also you have admin slash um, let's say profile okay let's keep the controller same for now and also you have let's say okay so it, all all these uh, urls uh, are starting with the admin prefix okay now let's say let's visit this admin slash home url here uh, for now it is taking us to the home page uh, that's not an issue but but what the issue is all this admin is repeating this admin part this admin part is repeating in every url so how to minimize that so we can do it in this way as you can see here in the uh, documentation so what we can do is route prefix if we say admin and and we should give it a closer and now now as you can see here we have to return the route from here so if we have if we add all these routes inside the function and remove let's now remove this admin section now it should change it should uh, it should have the same behavior now let us go to the our blog base and if i refresh then there should not be any error it should show us the same page uh, as you can see it is working the same way uh, previously i forgot to add this group uh, <laughs> append this group method so i added this and now it's working mm. Okay, now uh, by uh, by using this method, uh, you can remove the duplicate prefixes. Okay, uh, route prefix is done. Also, similarly for the route prefix, uh, we, we can also do the same thing from the for the name names of the route similarly like this. So for all these, uh, suppose uh, you can have like uh, adm admin dot home. Similarly for you can have admin dot profile and admin dot okay so you can uh, have a url like this so now if we go to the let's say go to the home page and add let us add one and let's add admin dot home to this however it is pointing to the same home page but uh, let us add this now if we go there in the home page section in the home section and we can see sorry uh, if we write if we rename is at admin home and if we refresh it then we can see here admin home if we click here and you can go to the admin home okay so it's working as usual but see here also the um, admin name is repeating what we can do is let us remove this thing and now we can add name here and we can add admin dot since uh, uh, remember to add the admin dot because it will be a a added it will be concatenated this part will be concatenated to these parts okay so so if it is it is a home here so after processing it will its name will be admin dot home it will be admin dot profile and admin dot password change password it will be like so now when we go to the again home page and if we click on the admin home now it should not show any error so let me click on it yeah you can see here the admin home is working okay if i remove this if i remove this and refresh the page now you can see here route admin dot home is not defined it it is giving us the error now if we again add it and refresh the page it's working because in the view file we have admin.home as a route okay
Guys, uh, I think that is it for this video. In the next video, we'll be talking about the middleware. And also we'll come coming back to the route section where we'll be talking about the rate limiting. So it is basically, if, uh, it is a feature, a huge feature in Laravel, which allows us to restrict uh, people from accessing a URL for certain amount of time. Suppose we want to give a user access to that URL for only three times a minute. So after three time, after hitting, visiting the same URL for the three um, times in a minute, they will not be able to visit that again. So we'll be talking about that as well. Okay. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.